It's now possible in Tableau Public Desktop Edition or Tableau Public Web Authoring to use the extension gallery inside of the product specifically to access some of the new viz types that have been coming out. I'm in here inside of Tableau Public. I've actually logged in already. And uh, all I'm going to do is go to create and we're going to connect to some data now. You don't need to download Tableau Public Desktop Edition to do this, but if you want to, you can go ahead and do that. It's basically the same thing. Uh, you can go ahead and click on web authoring and you immediately get sent to this page. I did notice a few strange things about this. When you go to the connectors tab, it says Tableau server. That's a little bit of a strange addition. I think this means Tableau cloud, but even then I don't understand this connector. So <laughs> if this is not meant to be happening, I sort of wonder what it is. But anyway, nonetheless, you can go ahead and connect to your files. I'm going to go ahead and upload Superstore sales. I'm just going to go grab that. I'll skip that so that you can uh, save some time in this video. Okay, here we are. We're uploading Superstore sales. This is what comes with Tableau, so it's no different. As soon as it's in, we get the orders table, people and returns. We'll go ahead and drag it in. And um, yeah, this looks pretty much like what we're used to. Um, don't forget there's the new data modeling capabilities, hence this slightly newer interface if you're not familiar with this. But as soon as we go ahead to sheet one, uh, you'll see that it loads up the data. It actually creates an extract because this is what it does. Um, you could keep it live, but I don't think it actually lets you keep it live. Um, there's no option to do that. It automatically creates the extract if you upload the file manually. I did that to fill some air. And so here we are inside of Tableau. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll just bring a category and let's just bring cells and we'll just build a basic bar chart. You can see that's working, all right? Now, the new chart types, the new things from the Viz extension gallery are going to be available here. If you go to the automatic uh, drop down, you'll see you can add an extension and voila, it loads up the extension gallery right away. And so what we have access to are all the amazing extensions that I've been talking about over the last few months. Um, most of them are available here. I think there's probably a little bit of a, a process that requires them to be available here, but broadly speaking, everything that I've looked for is available here. So great extensions by Lad Data Viz, Infotopics. They're all here as long as, sorry, alongside all of Tableau's as well. So you can see here built by Tableau, the new table extensions already here. It's had 6.3 thousand downloads already. That's already quite a large number, so that's really good to see. So uh, again, if we go ahead and grab the table extension, because this is the new one, don't forget this is network enabled. So if you're using this for Tableau Public, this shouldn't be a problem because you shouldn't be using Tableau Public for something that, uh, well, data that shouldn't be public in many ways. So at least for Tableau Public, I think this should be a no brainer. Uh, go ahead and select open, and then you're pretty much good to go. You've got everything you need. Now it says here extensions, uh, Tableau table version one isn't currently supported in Tableau public. So this is a little bit odd because the extension gallery is available, but as you can see here, this uh, chart type is not available. So if we go back, we'll go ahead, grab another extension. We can sort of try this Sankey this time. If we click on that, uh, go ahead and open, uh, you will see that this is available. So I did that just to show you that some extensions aren't sort of fully working. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know if they need some sort of um, configuration from Tableau side in order for this to work. But nonetheless, here you can use this. So we'll grab a category, put it on level. We'll then grab subcategory, put that on level as well. And we'll put sales on the link uh, just to make this a little bit easier. Actually, I did that entirely wrong. Sorry, I should have put, um, let me put subcategory here. Come on, let me put subcategory here, please. There we go, there we go. And it's thinking about it, okay, fine. And because this is just like a one-to-one -one relationship between the categories and subcategories, it's not a terribly interesting Sankey chart. So what I'll do is I'll change this to region. Region is going to give us something different. So we'll go from category to region. That should re-render the viz and we have our Sankey. So that's pretty much it. Viz extensions in Tableau Public. That means now you can use these extensions that have an interesting sort of chart types. But again, the key thing to remember is not all the extensions are available as you just saw. If I flip back to Tableau Table, you see this just launched, but it's not yet available. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.